has written and directed some of the funniest moments you've seen on film and television over the past two decades. Here I was on the steps of the 42nd Street Library, a grown man getting a wedgie. My name is Borat. Okay, okay, good, good. Well, I'm not used to that, but that's fine. It's moot. They're going out of business. It's not moot. That's They're moot. Remote. That's not moot. How's that not moot? It's not moot. It's totally moot. Ah, America. What's a guy got to do around here to get a library card? <laughs> the most important TV fashion show in any German-speaking country, apart from Germany. Would be stealing from the company. How can you steal garbage? You could tuck it in your pants. You guys ready for what's coming? Get set! <laughs> Guess what he won? That last <laughs> clip is from The Dictator. His latest collaboration with Sasha Bar Baron Cohen opens today. And hello, Larry Charles. Listen, I am Thank thrilled you. to meet you in person. My pleasure. Because I've seen your name on the credits for years. I'm just thrilled you came wearing clothes and not your usual pajamas that you used to do. It's a kind of a masquerade. I'm one of the few people that if they take off their beard, I'm in disguise. <laughs> Usually people put on a beard to get in disguise. But what is it about pajamas? <laughs> Well, I was working 18 hours a day, seven days a week. I was living at work, and I thought, why not be comfortable at least? You know, it made and everybody sense to me. said, we get it, we get it. Listen, I saw the movie yesterday, and I have to say, it's an equal opportunity offender. Fantastic. So, <laughs> that should make you very proud. I am. So I'm sitting there with all these people. We're all, you know, we think pretty uh, educated, very smart, and I found myself laughing at the most inappropriate things. Yes. Is that your goal? Well, the goal is to obviously be funny, and yeah. that's a very difficult task. Task, obviously and we are looking to make humor out of things that normally are not funny mm -hmm. that's sort of one of the keys to to this movie is to take subject matter contemporary issues that are pretty serious and sometimes even grim and find humor and satirical points to make about them. what's the collaboration like it's a very it's a it's a larger collaboration than just Sasha and I even uh, there are there's like a creative brain trust that almost has a, a dialectic going we have uh, uh, incredible uh, uh, Talmudic debates about comedy uh, about all the aspects of the script and the shooting and uh, so it's a continual collaboration continual examination and analysis of what we're doing trying to make it better trying to excavate all the gold from the uh, from the script how do you choose what you want to do now I try to, I mean, something like this I had to do, and that's my criteria. If I feel like I have to do it. And well, how did I, you feel like you had to? Well, I felt like this movie needed to be out there. Like, there's nothing out there like this, as was the yes. case with Borat and Bruno as well, or Religious. I felt like these were movies that need to be out there, that people could actually laugh at this stuff, these serious issues, and kind of think about it a little bit more deeply at the same time. Yeah. That's an unbeatable combination to me. No, and I look at your history, Larry, the shows that, you, you, that you've been involved with, and when you talk about Seinfeld, Entourage, you you said your childhood is like Lord of the Flies in Brooklyn. Yes, correct. And so what, do, what sort of drives you today? Because I'm very fascinated by your look. Yes. I, explain your look to me. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. The look I'm very evolved curious. from having to go home on the train to Brooklyn at 3 o'clock in the morning, and <laughs> I didn't want people to hassle me. So my look is like a, 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 a well, deterrent. You want them to think what? Yeah. I want them to think, I'm going to move on to the next, I'm going to mug the next person. You know what I mean? I'm not going to hassle this guy. Who knows what he's got in his pocket? Yeah. You know? So that was kind of a, yeah. all humor, all those things were survival that's strategies. That's choice. Yes. No, I see that. No, yes. but you're clearly very smart, Larry Charles. You are clearly very smart. And what's your evidence for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen my IQ test? I don't know how. No, 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 no you're running. Really, you are. Yeah. And I, I, I say you. this all yeah. the time, that comedy really is a form of intelligence. I really do mean that. And I look at your work and the things that you've done. But when you say Lord of the Flies of Brooklyn, what kind of childhood did you have? Well, it was the kind of thing. That made you this. Well, I think, you know, we were innocent kids who were exposed to a, a very harsh, brutal, cold environment. New York City in the 70s, first of all, was a rough place. Uh, it was probably at its lowest ebb at that time. And there was a kind of a sense of almost 
where I grew up in Brooklyn, it was almost mm. like a Soviet block in uh -huh. a sense. And uh, there was too many kids, too many people squeezed into too small an area like you have in prisons. Yeah. Mm. And there's a kind of a dominance and submission that goes on under those conditions. Was Seinfeld a perfect storm in terms of you and Larry David and Jerry and... Well, even, the... even NBC, yes, I agree with you, it was because NBC was in third place at the time. Uh, the show did not do well when it first came on the air. It was losing to a show called Jake and the Fat Man. We would lose in the ratings every week, but NBC had nothing better to put on, essentially, yeah. so they let the show stay yeah. on the air, and it found its audience organically, when, which is hard to do these days. And then when Jerry decided to leave, they backed up a Brinks truck and said, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Please, please continue. Stay. Yes. Well, he deserves it. The, the dictator. Continued success. Your Thank track you. record is intact. Your record uh, is intact. Excellent. Thank you. It's hilarious <laughs> it. and inappropriate, but hilarious. Thank you so much. The Dictators is in theaters today.